everyone, welcome back to Michelle Reads and Vlogs and today we are opening the adult fairy loot box for November. I feel like this has come quite early this month, it's the earliest of any adult box I've had so far but let's open her up and have a look. Just so you know that the theme for this month is by the sword. Here's a little sneak peek, it's a very big book, it takes up most of the space here. There's no spoiler card on the outside of the box box or theme card. Wow, this is chonky. Got a lovely black sprayed edge there and we can see from the top there is a red ribbon bookmark. I'm actually struggling to get this out of the bag. It's so big. Obviously I don't want to damage the book so I'm going to do that as gently as I can. And here we go. Wow, look at that for a cover. So we have got Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. This is Cassandra Clare's debut adult fantasy fiction. So all of her previous works have been YA. That is stunning. So we've got the two characters back to back and we can see that they are like this shiny kind of material on top of the matte black. I've seen a lot of books doing this quite recently, but that's really cool. Onto the side, we can see, is it going to be a part of a series? Because it's got a number one. Got the two arrows here, the sword catcher. And then on the back, we've got some information there. And we've got this crown. I've just looked at the sprayed edge. Obviously, the top and bottom is straight black. And here we go for side sprayed edge so we've got this red town with this black starry night that's definitely different but how good's that gonna look when it's on its side is the only kind of thing i'm gonna question there i mean as you can see from my shelves i don't display many sprayed edges facing outwards anyway it's definitely different i will give it that let's have a look inside so our end pages are these two main characters again. And then the back end pages ah, is a different character. And this time we've got this horse-drawn carriage as well. I say horse-drawn carriage, there's no horses there. Maybe, maybe it's pulled by magic. A carriage anyway. There is no reverse jacket artwork, not that that's too much of an issue. That is stunning. So onto the naked hardback, we've got all of this gold foiling. I wouldn't even know how to describe this. It's just kind of like those intricate swirly details. And you've got the arrows again at the bottom, again at the spine, similar to the dust jacket with the one and then on the back we've got this similar motif but with this carriage as well so I wonder how that is going to coming to the story. Let's have a look inside if we've got obviously fairy loot are going for a lot of printed signatures. I'm actually saying that that kind of looks pen signed let me um double check this. There's our card. Uh, it says nothing on here. <laughs> it's just got. Oh no, it does. It's just all in a um, a paragraph. Yeah, digital signature. So it looks very authentic. I would have said if I was looking at this, I actually would have said that that was pen signed. So interesting that that is a digital signature. As we've said, I'm not sure if we're going to start moving away from digital signatures purely because if you want the author to sign the book, it's then going to look a little bit weird. This is a chunky book. So obviously we knew this taking it out of the book bag. 620 pages and that's with an exclusive bonus scene, which is uh, very nice. So 600 pages. Oh, the font's not tiny but I wouldn't describe it as big either. I don't like cracking the spines. <laughs> Obviously it'll have to happen if I read the book. Let's have a look at the synopsis for this one. In the vibrant city-state of Castellane, nobles and criminals have one thing in common, the constant search for wealth, power and the next hedonistic thrill. Yet as an impoverished orphan, Kel's prospects look bleak until he's stolen from his old life to enter a new one of luxury and peril. 
He's to become Prince Connor's Aurelian's body double, shielding the prince from all dangers. As his sword catcher, he and Connor will become as close as brothers, yet Cal lives for one purpose, to die for Connor. Lynn Castor is an Ashkari physician, part of a community ostracised for its rare magical abilities. But after a failed assassination attempt brings her and Kel together, they are drawn into the web of the mysterious rag picker king, ruler of Castellane's criminal underworld. He offers each of them what they want most, but as Lynn and Kel sink deeper into his world, they uncover an extraordinary conspiracy. As long-kept secrets unravel, They must ask themselves, can forbidden love bring down a kingdom? And will their discoveries plunge their nation into war and the world into chaos? So I have thoughts with this. There are a lot of parallels with V. Schwab and the Shades of Magic series. Most notably that the main character is called Kel. He's brought in to live with a prince. There are differences. Even V. Schwab put out a statement on Instagram being like, these are two different books. Chill out, (laughs) Um, basically. My other thing that I have to say is that I'm not a huge Cassandra Clare fan of her YA fantasy. I gave her a good go. You'd see from my book and haul video I unhauled 12 maybe ish Cassandra Clare YA books that had just been sitting on my shelf and gathering dust so I'm not 100% this is going to be massively up on my TBR but I am happy to own a copy of it when I saw that there was going to be a book box edition I knew that you know I only need one so I didn't need to order there was special editions going on all over the place didn't need to order another copy I'm happy with just my one and really good for a fairy loot adult book pick. I think this is going to be a big one that a lot of people are going to want to get out of the fairy loot subscription box and a lot of people are going to be happy to have this one. As I said, I'm going to add it to the collection quite happily, but probably not reach for it, maybe for some time. But is it stunning? Absolutely yes. Am I happy? Absolutely yes. I love that it's got a ribbon bookmark as well. I think that that was a really nice touch. I think that's all we've pretty much got to say. Oh, the artists. I always forget this part. (laughs) Talking about the artists for the book. Let me pop her there for a moment. So your Fairy Loot exclusive edition has a redesigned cover featuring character artwork by Mer Wild and Co and designed by Blanket.Design. I also forgot to say I'll put the original UK cover up so that you can see what that looks like in comparison as it is very different. A digital sprayed for edge by Blanca Design with a solid top and bottom. Foil on the hardcover is by Blanca Design. End paper is also by Mer Wild and Co and foil designed by Blanca Design. Comes with bonus content, a ribbon bookmark and a digital signature. There we go. That is our book for November. Let me know if you're happy with this one, if you're getting this one, if you've got any other thoughts or feelings. If you've watched to this point, make sure that you hit the like button. It really does help me and the channel out. Otherwise, I hope you're all well. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.